Hey everyone, it's Carnage Panda back with more Valkyria Chronicles, and as always, we will want to go back to uh, headquarters uh, so that uh, we can check out to see if there's any new stuff. Um, hopefully, he'll be able to uh, teach us that uh, last um, order, maybe. I'll teach you healing request today. Ah, thank you. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Well, that's very kind of you. Well, what is your decision? Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Alright, let's uh, head over to Castlefront Street, see what uh, Irene's got hey. for us. Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Okay, Imperial Shadow hits Barius. Central Gallian Command reported on the 15th that the militia had encountered and routed a contingent of Imperial Station in Barius, the culmination of a clandestine investigation into reported Imperial activity in the area. The Badlands topography is poorly suited to combat maneuvers, and the region holds little to no strategic value, making the Empire's goal there unclear. One theory suggests that the desert region is home to as an et as yet unmined load and that Imperial forces were stationed there for the purpose of Ragnite speculation. During a press session on the 10th, Gallian Prime Minister Borg called for talks with Federation Ambassador Townsend, slated to visit Gallia at the end of the month. In light of the increasingly complex conflict between Federation and Empire, however, many suspect the Federation views this as a chance to acquire Gallia for its resources. This announcement has been met with vehement opposition from members of the par Parliament with strong ties to the former Imperial cartels. Ambassador Towson responded to the invite in a public address, stating that he firmly believes that joining hands to thwart the Empire's hubis hubristic ambitions is essential to assuring peace for Europa. Da, 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 da. I've got new material. Do you? Ah, yeah, we're definitely doing this one. The story could be on hold. Okay, so we got uh, we got the order and we got this uh, larg mi Largo mission. Let's go to R and D uh, and buff up everything. Welcome, bro. I'm stoked you're here, man. What can I do you for? Better stuff. That's what you could do me for. All right, so the next one is going to be where it branches off into uh, multiple upgrades. That's where the game gets really interesting. Oh, accuracy boost. I will take that. It's still a it's still a C aim though. I know that one of them is is the uh, super accurate uh, better scope um, sniper rifle. I will take uniform upgrades. Yeah, you can see on the Lancer's equipment, uh, this is, uh, the armor blast suit is only for, uh, Lancers, so you can see that it has anti-blast on it. Okay, so let's see if we can, uh, improve the Edelweiss. Nothing there. Nothing there. Sight upgrade. Okay, I will take this. All right, so let's uh, just start unequipping stuff. How do I unequip it? Um...
It doesn't say how to unequip it, though. Oh, okay, I just, I just hit escape, okay. Um, because I want to improve the accuracy over everything else. I guess I'll take the crit defense. Yeah, extra magazine is good. That'll give me another mortar to, to use. We've got enough to get everybody up to level six now. Fight the bullet! No pain, no gain! Might grind up some XP to get everybody to level seven in between this episode and the next. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human. Oh, I don't get any orders out of that. Or potentials. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. Okay, now what I want to do is switch up my um, squad members so that I can keep working on uh, uh, new guys and get them all uh, improved. Okay, so let's let's look at these guys first. Okay, so I don't need you in the party anymore. Thank you, thank you. You're a wonderful audience. I'm here all week. I uh, don't need you anymore. And nice work out there so far. You can call me anytime. And I don't need you. Thanks for everything, Welkin. You it would have a dash mark if it, if it, you didn't have it uh, completed. Like, see, Rosie has a dash mark on that last personality trait, so she hasn't uh, found hers yet. Okay, you guys are still uh, fine. Dayold is a bully. Okay. Okay, so let's let's get rid of these two guys. Hey, what I do? Oh, come on, man, give me another chance here. Herbert could go away. Wow. So, I guess it's over then. I mean, that's fine too. Uh, Carl's fine. You, you've taught me a great deal, sir. Please let me know if I can ever be of help. Okay, uh, Homer's also fine, and he's a masochist. Oh, a premature parting. Yet another place I don't belong. I'm not going to get rid of Oscar yet. I think the reason I didn't uh, get his brother in the party is because I had to learn all of his personality traits and then let him get KO'd. Uh, there's no reason for me to get rid of uh, Marina. Marina's just a... she's a beast. Um, as, as I get later in the game, she just becomes unstoppable. Um, Alright, so let's let's go back over here. Uh, I guess I'll pick you up. I'm Hermes Kissinger. With me here, your squad will get twice the girls. Okay. Uh, Melville. Nice mohawk. Hey, Welkster. I'm Melville Young. I'll do my best, man. Uh, how many scouts do I have? Let's uh, get one more. I don't need Ted. I guess we'll pick up Wavy. Please, call me Wavy. From today onward, we fight together. And we got Cherry. Um... I think she's... Uh, I think she's a, she's a valley girl or something. Oh, and we got we picked up Ika as well. She's uh, the other person from um, Skies of Arcadia. Okay, let's pick up uh, two Lancers. Okay, we get Walter. The name's Walter Nash, buddy. Pleasure to be working with you. And I guess Hector. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. 
And I think I need to pick up some engineers. Yeah, I need to pick up three engineers. Oh, we picked up Catherine as well. Uh, Herbert, you're done. You're done. You're done. Let's pick up Dallas. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Uh, Ramsey and I guess Claudia. I'm Ramsey Clement. Uh, hey. Hello, I'm Claudia Mann. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. And I guess I'll put Catherine in there. Hello, I'm Catherine O'Hara. I look forward to joining you all. I think uh, both Catherine and Marina are the best snipers. Now, the, the reason uh, Catherine is good as well is because Marina does not do well in uh, field areas because she has the pollen al allergy, so that uh, really hits her hard. But Catherine does better in those areas. All right. Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant. I guess I'll go back into the squad barracks and talk about those um, sniper rifles. So yeah, I picked up the uh, Zia uh, SG-1, which is an Imperial sniper rifle. You only get one of them, but you can see that its aim is a D and its range is 450. Now, it does a hell of a lot of damage, but you have to be really close. And snipers have a hard time getting in close to people, so... I just do not like the Imperial Sniper Rifles at all. So I, I won't even bother with those. Uh, let's go back to brick book mode and then let's do uh, Largo's mission. Oh, damn, we have to go way back in time. Report. Largo's passion. Uh, this is where we learned that Largo is completely insane. Ah, I'm starving. Why do they call us here at lunchtime? Ugh, you always get snippy the minute your stomach rumbles, Largo. Sorry, guys. Have you been waiting long? I'll get right to the briefing. You may already be aware of the recent hike in food prices. I'm well aware. This is why I've stopped eating. I do remember one worker at the mess hall mentioning that produce prices were rising. Apparently the Empire has taken hold of the trade route farmers use to ship their stock. What did you say? Vegetable crisis grips Gallia. Not a very exciting headline. You mocking the power <laughs> of vegetables? <laughs> what? I was just... What's your problem? Vegetables are like bombs packed tight with all kinds of important nutrients. Kids gotta eat them to grow up right. And the body's practically made of vegetables. Which are like bombs? In any case, Squad 7's next mission is to clear that trade route of Imperials. All right, time to put the fear of veggies into these imps. The fear of veggies? Is he serious? Yes, he's serious. Alright, so this is actually a pretty tough mission, so I'm going to have to make a save before here. Um, I have very limited squad members that I, I'm able to take into here. You will now be briefed on the operation. This mission will be fought on the outskirts of Vassal. An enemy blockade has restricted traffic along this route. Fear of combat spilling over into the civilian dwellings here prevents us from making this a large-scale operation. You'll have to leave your tank on the sidelines and lead a small force of foot soldiers into the village. Your objective is to destroy the two tanks standing by on the road ahead. 
You're likely to face heavy fire from those tanks if you just march along the road. It may be the long way around, but you're better off heading through the village and securing a spot to attack safely. I'm afraid we can't spare a medic to accompany a team as small as the one you'll be taking in. To compound things, this is a night op. You'll be dealing with less visibility than you're used to. There will be no sightline to targets more than a certain distance away, and you can't spot them in action mode. Consequently, if even one of your soldiers falls in combat, you're to pull out immediately. Mission failure. It's a lot of special conditions and requirements. Be extra careful as you plan each move out there. One final note, you won't have your uh, tank's wireless setup, so you won't be able to issue orders during this mission. Okay, I gotta destroy both enemy tanks, and failure is if any ally falls in action, Welkin dies, or 20 turns pass. Um, so I believe Largo and Welkin are already uh, deployed. I definitely do not want to deploy a sniper. They have way too low of AP to uh, even matter here. Um... I might just take Rosie. Yeah, let's let's go with this. Shock trooper power. Good luck. I don't think Rosie gets her fourth potential for a long time. Uh, Var Largo will get his uh, fourth potential out of this mission. The bastards blocking our veggies are here, ain't they? Let's bust some heads. Shh, be quiet. You want them to hear us? Hell yeah. This is a stealth operation with just a few soldiers. Lose anyone and the mission fails. Yeah, I got it. Now let's go get violent for vegetables. Um, you want to work with me here, Largo? All right, so let's, uh... Just get Welkin in there. Welkin on foot, uh, nonetheless. So I gotta be careful. I, I want to make sure there's no mines or anything. And I will actually take this ladder because this is a shorter way around than going down that way. Nature. All right, so this is uh, close enough. I believe I'm going to have to actually double move with Largo and Rosie. Yeah, there's a shock trooper right there. Let's do this thing. So let's go fuck him up. If I could get Rosie that close. What the fuck do you want, man? Yeah, because I don't want that shock trooper just sneaking up behind Welkin and uh, shoving his uh, rifle up his butt. So I'll just do a frontal attack. Zero fear. And let's uh, move Largo up. Just watch this. Um, you actually can't make a frontal attack on them, I believe. I think there's some barricades in the way or something. something the, the real problem here is just moving Largo up into uh, the area. Oh, Lord and Lord, there was a scout right there. Oh, so close, Welkin. Looks like another enemy scout there. Oh, what is he doing? Uh, let's just move Rosie up there. She has better attack and defense than Welkin. Yeah, let's just double move with Rosie and Largo. 
New target sighted. Ah, uh, yeah. There, there's a shock trooper up here, so I need to terminate him. That'll take away a command point as well. And I'll just leave Welkin to deal with that scout over there. Nice work. Keep taking him down. Just watch this. Because Welkin is a scout and he has a, a hell of a lot of um, AP. Save a little AP by going through that ladder. Just watch this. Now, I'm not sure if there's a turret around this corner or if there's not. Yeah, Welka could take it. Take yeah, suck it, nerd. I actually think there's a turret around the corner, so I'm going to take Largo first. Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. Okay. Get up there, Largo. There we go. Got the turret. Alright, now I'll just double move with uh, Rosie. Just go over the sandbags to save some AP. Uh, terminate his life functions. Enemy unit neutralized. I'm not sure if there's another one on the other side of those. Um, I'm on. But I'm pretty sure there's guys up here. At least I thought there were. All right, let's move up Largo. Use some Ragnate at the end of his turn. Alright, now comes the hard part, is actually hitting the generators with the Largo. Oh, there was a guy over there. Jerk! Stop it! So I'm actually going to kind of save scum here. Uh, because I'm not sure if Largo is actually going to hit these shots. Spotted an enemy. Boom. Okay, we got one of the tanks. Can I hit this other tank? There we go, got it. That, that went a lot easier than I thought it would go. Operation complete. Both enemy tanks neutralized.
It's actually pretty difficult to get an A rank on most of these missions. That should end our vegetable shortage. I know it wasn't hard as hard in four, <laughs> which opened up more strategizing. Feels good to know I'm helping farm folk out. Growing up on the farm, I was always helping with the harvest out there in the field. I'm serious when I say veggies are king too. The more you eat, the healthier you get. I agree. A lot of nutrients vegetables offer can't be found anywhere else. Plus, I feel like vegetables are a way to take in the power of nature as a whole. Power of nature, huh? Yeah. Plants grow by absorbing energy from the sun, the soil, even tiny microbes. Eating vegetables is like getting all that natural energy right from the source. <laughs> Never heard veggies told quite like that before. I tell you, boss, you got your head on right. You got my mark. <laughs> Thanks, Largo. That means a lot to me. Hey, boss, let me tell you a stupid dream I have. My folks' old farm went under, but I want to start it up again as an organic veggie farm. Funny, huh? Big Macho Man goes from flinging bullets to being king of the carrot patch. I'm not laughing. If you're dedicated, I'm sure you'll grow some fine vegetables. Once you're all set up and harvesting, you'll have to let me sample what you've grown. Boss, you'd be welcome to eat all you wanted. But you'd have to help with the harvest. And out on the farm, I'm squad leader. Be ready for the workout of your life. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm feeling good today. Veggies for all. Okay, so that actually unlocks uh, Largo's final um, potential. Which I'll just go back to headquarters to, to show that off. Because I don't know when it's going to trigger. Alright, so... His uh, final one is Veggie Maniac. So anytime he uh, touches a uh, natural ground, not like concrete or, or steel or something, he's going to get a boost to his uh, stats. Because he likes vegetables. Which is just completely insane, but okay. Still has to get his battle uh, ones up, though, so... Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, so leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.